Welcome back, everybody, and here I am at it again, going after a ship out in the lake. Well, this is actually Hamilton Harbor, uh, kind of like uh, it sits in between Burlington and Hamilton, Ontario. And um, yeah, I saw some ships out there, and I was like, oh, you know what? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Let's go hit that with the uh, with the drone. So uh, here we go. Um, I decided to just do this video at regular speed. I didn't want to bother speeding it up, so. If you want to just get to the boat, you can skip ahead to about the 2.30 mark, and that's where I, you know, kind of get to the boat. But uh, if you want to sit and listen to me ramble, by all means, uh, sit there. Use this time to uh, click the like button, because it's a really cool boat. You're going to like it anyway, so you might as well just get that out of the way, and uh, I'd appreciate that. Um, I do want to say hi to my troll, though. Uh, while we're here, I'd like to take that opportunity. I don't know who you are, but I notice that pretty much every video I upload, somebody dislikes right away. And so I wanted to give a shout out to you. You can speak up and say, hey, this is me in the comments below. That's cool. I don't mind. Um, hopefully you like this boat. There is an awesome part, not spoiler alert, um, but uh, I'm going to drop down and the guys are going to wave at me on the ship, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realize anyone was really even going to be on the ship. I thought it was just going to be kind of sitting there waiting to uh, be worked on and, you know, maybe one, one guy or something kind of keeping an eye on it, but... Anyhow, we're going to cruise on out there. You're going to see me do a sweet move here with the sailboat, like where I like totally cut them off. Um, as I was approaching, obviously I saw him. I was flying on my iPad. I clearly saw him. I was just wanting to keep the shot low because I wanted to uh, be able to speed this up. I just envisioned, you know, taking the shot and speeding it up and all that. And then as I'm approaching right here, I'm like, oh, shit, we're actually going to be cutting kind of close here. So I've got her full throttle and start lifting up a bit just to, but you could clearly see I had plenty of space anyway, but really I wanted to get to the boat along the uh, surface of the water, kind of at the level I was at, but oh well, maybe next time. So uh, this, uh, this area, just because I know a lot of you guys are from various places around the world, this area here is the uh the harbor and you can see in the background all like the steel mills and stuff like that and they uh they work on boats over there i've got some other video um on my channel of uh like the boatyard place where i don't know everything they do there i just know that they fix the boats up and there's actually a second boat and when we get to the second boat you'll uh, get to see that it's been being worked on and this one clearly is too uh, which, because we'll see the workers doing it, but anyhow, uh, Gargany, Hong Kong. I've never heard of Gargany, but that's cool. Uh, I'm I'm not really sure what goes in this kind of a boat. Uh, so anyone that's a boat guy, I, I guess you could probably Google, though, and that would tell you what a Gargany is. So that's your guys' mission. Somebody can go ahead, Google the, uh, the, the ship, the Gargany ship, and uh, see what it hauls because most ships have a real-time tracker. You can find out where they are and what they're hauling and all that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Still battling a bit of a cold for like, geez, almost a month now, like three, four weeks. Um, anyhow, I'm going to get a little closer after just so you guys know where we're at here. Like I said, I didn't want to edit this video. This is raw footage. I didn't adjust anything. I didn't color adjust. I didn't trim anything. Didn't speed anything up. So uh, I will do a second pass around here a lot closer. Um, when I was filming this, obviously, I was really just thinking, you know, go slow and all that because I wanted to film in 4K, which I did, of course. And I wanted to um, be able to cut out you know, all my turns and stuff. So there's a good chance you're going to see a kind of a more uh, finished product. You know, uh, a lot of people that have watched many of my videos before know that I often do like a musical rendition of a video like this as well. You know what I mean? I'll just take a couple of scenes here, there, whatever, and uh, put it to some music and call it a day. That's, uh, you know, because that's all some people want. Some people don't want vlogs. And I'm sorry if you came here looking for just that, uh, you know, um, the video will come. I just gotta gotta edit it up, and so you know, maybe within a day or two, I'll pop that one up. And I've got actually several more videos uh, ready to edit as well. So right there, you can see uh, the guy in blue and some guys walking along there. That's who we're gonna go and visit after. Uh, I kind of wish that I had you know 
could have like you know tied a, a Mickey of vodka or something to it to uh, drop off to them. That probably would have been sweet or some hamburgers or something. They probably really would have appreciated that. But like I said, I wasn't really expecting anyone to be there. So it's kind of a, a weird boat because it's got all these cranes on it. So obviously there's something in those holds that uh, they lift with the cranes. It's, I don't, I, I don't know too much about boats, and I know that some of you do, because I've had people that have commented on uh, my other ship video. Um, I don't know why you would need those cranes, though, because when they go to the port, they have big cranes at the ports. So, unless maybe they go and they stop in, like, you know, areas that don't have big cranes, maybe. But it is kind of fun uh, flying uh, around these boats. I, I see them out there all the time, and I never really haven't really bothered to fly around any, even though it is a fun thing to do. And that's a that's kind of a cool perspective right there. Uh, I don't fly uh, in front of the uh, the bridge on this flight. I was I thought about it while I was flying around, and it's the one thing that really you know makes me a little nervous is that little thin wire that you just don't see. And I sat there trying to calculate: could there be a wire? You know what I mean? Like, because they're not going to run a wire to the crane. But what I don't know, what if there was, right? And then that would really suck to lose my Phantom because those dudes would be like, sweet, we're bringing a Phantom back to Hong Kong, and I uh, that, that would be that. I'd just lose it. The uh, water looks kind of green. I think that's just kind of, I, I'm not doing color correction. I didn't really seem that green, you know, from where I was anyway on the shore. But uh, I guess it could be out there. It's I think it's pretty sandy bottom in this harbor uh there's a lot of it on some days if you fly out over this i've got videos that i never uploaded though and you can actually see the bottom in a lot of areas and it's uh it's all right so here we are i think i'm going to go a little closer now you can see they actually got the little uh, uh control house on the crane that would have been cool to have somebody in there or something to say hi to but anyhow see now watching the video back i can actually take my time a little more there was no wire there to worry about uh, you guys tell me, though, maybe, would you have risked it, or would you just say, nah, forget it? I did fly across the one in the one boat, um, but, I, yeah, I don't want to lose my drone. Sorry to ramble on about that, but it is what it is. Um, Dudley Do-Rights, if I've got any Dudley Do-Rights in the audience today, uh, you guys can speak up. I know that it's just, uh, you're sitting there with your foot probably tapping and you're getting all sweaty and angry. Oh, he's flying next to a ship, that's illegal, you bastard. And uh, how I'm going to uh, take down an oil tanker and stuff, because I got all that love on my other video. People were telling me that, you know, that it was so dangerous and this and that. And, and uh, yeah, this boat's uh, anchored down and... Uh, the one that I that I followed out of the uh, out going out into Lake Ontario wasn't anchored down, but it doesn't matter. This little drone wouldn't. I don't. I don't think there's anything on this ship you could damage other than newspaper with a drone. Uh, these things are like made of thick steel. But uh, here's some cool views. I'm gonna drop around. It's a nice, good uh, close-up view because uh, you know most people don't really get to see these things unless you work on one, right? But uh, the lifeboats, they're probably pretty cool. I saw that on uh, Captain Phillips, and I didn't realize like that the motors in that one that's on the uh, on the lift on the back there. So just think how much fun that would be like on a rough day at seas or whatever, just using it like a jet ski, almost like bombing through the waves and stuff. Probably be pretty awesome. Take it up the Niagara River, make it a jet boat, because you can do the jet boat rides up there in Niagara Falls. And then uh, you see the they've got the blow-up life rafts, so I'm not sure. If it's every man for himself, like the coolest guys or the quickest guys get the awesome closed-in lifeboat. The medium guys get the next orange lifeboat that was sitting there. It looks like a cool powerboat. And the uh, the slowest idiots get the, uh, the other ones there, those like inflatable Zodiacs or whatever. Um... I can't see in my little preview anyone up in the wheelhouse. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. It is 4K. I could uh, edit in. That's a, a, This time I was lucky enough to remember to throw it to 4K first. And I did that just so I could zoom in. But as of right now, as I'm speaking, doing my narration, I haven't zoomed in on anything. And I probably won't bother. Um, maybe I will when I do my other version. 
And uh, so here's these cool guys. I think this is where we're going to come in and say hi to them. And uh, they really loved it. This is where I should have zoomed in, but that's okay. I will uh, do that after. And this is, you'll see, once I'm done saying hi to them, I'm going to show you my closing shot, which is not the closing shot for this video because obviously you can still, we're only at 10 and a half minutes or something like that. And so I got like seven minutes of video left. But um, we're going to, uh, you, you guys will like what I'm doing here. Uh, but. I'm kind of ruining it by putting up the raw footage. All right, let's go in and say hello. We're going to get close enough, and then Buddy's going to scratch his nuts. And then, uh, or that's what it looks like in my preview anyway. I, I really hate that, how the preview on the uh, editor is kind of, you know, it's like 720 or something. And then, uh-oh, they're like, whoa, what's up? Buddy's like, hi. And that's me waving back. They like that. And uh, some of them don't care or don't maybe notice or something, I don't know. But those two guys were like, what's up? And then uh, here we go. This is, you know, my big uh, finishing shot. See, isn't that an awesome effect right there? Boom. I love that. And I was so wishing I could go and land on that yellow dot. I got to tell you, when I saw that as I was flying, I was like, oh, that'd be so sick to go and land on that. But um, I'm going to spin around. We're going to go to the next ship anyway, but I'll tell you a story about landing. Just so you guys know, a little fair warning. One time I was out filming a track in Cayuga, the Toronto Motorsport Speedway. So I'm sitting there minding my business and um, flying around all the, the supercars, which, by the way, I've got tons of video that I never uploaded of those, too. But, uh, you know, the Lambos and Ferraris and all that. Anyway, so I was down at the far end of the track, and there was no cars coming so I was like all right I'm gonna save some battery and I you know look down with the camera and I, I landed well when you know it then you lose the damn signal and I couldn't take back off so when you land you it's so what I'm saying basically is be careful deciding to land far away from yourself luckily for me that wasn't a big deal because I just walked over you know closer towards it and but it was probably three quarters of a kilometer away from where I was, whatever the far end of the track is from one end right to the other. And, uh, so I had to walk like, you know, halfway there or something to regain signal because it was sitting on the ground. And I'm guessing that's just something to do with the direction of the, uh, antennas and stuff. But anyway, so I wanted to mention that, uh, one thing I don't like is, and I'm sure you guys can see it is the flickery weird effect of the water when flying in 4k it's just like it's too much detail maybe um i'm not really sure but it's uh, on my preview anyway and i notice it in the final product in a lot of my videos when i shoot 4k uh so any of my video buffs that know this kind of stuff if you want to chime in and tell me the best settings because i'm i really i'm terrible at you know setting shutter versus iso and when i try to do the settings people have told me before, everything just whites out and I can't use the footage. So I'm really bad at that. I got to like take some camera lessons or something. So back on track to talking about what we're looking at. Um, first of all, when I stop right there, that's because my battery was at 30%. And so it was doing the uh, auto return to home thing or whatever. You know, the aircraft will return to home in eight seconds or whatever. Anyway, so just canceled that quickly. So this ship, as I'm sitting there looking at it, I'm going, what a piece of shit. And why is it so bad looking? And then I was like, but wait a sec, the wheelhouse looks brand new. Look at look at the whole top section. It's, it's like new. Then you see the back is all primed. Um, so this appears that this is one ship that's maybe getting worked on and getting a new paint job. It's probably all just sanded down. And that's why it looks so crappy. And yeah, it was kind of confusing like because they do dismantling ships here too right like they tear them apart for uh, for scrap and stuff and the, the submarines which would have been awesome to catch a couple years ago they were stripping the subs but um anyhow yeah it's just like at first i thought it was a pretty crappy boat but then you look at the spot where they the whole wheelhouse thing unless it's all new but i'm guessing they probably just did a nice new paint job on it Actually, it looks like a, you know, if you would almost think that that back part there was part of like a cruise ship or something. And at uh, this point, I'm just kind of like, all right, I got to start coming back. So I'm like two kilometers away or something like that. And I have to watch my battery, right? So 
I was trying to see, is there a good shot to get? I was going to start coming in forward, and then I was like, well, I might as well try to get a nice, you know, coming away shot for the uh, for the trip home. So there we go with that. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of cool being able to catch two ships at once. And I don't know if the gray ship's worth its own musical video because it would be a pretty quick one. Although you guys can comment below if you think it's worthwhile. It doesn't take long to edit it, so... Um, but the other one I definitely will do, you know, just some nice, you know, pans and approach and whatever. I'll do something nice with it. And, uh, I want to thank everyone that's subscribed to me and taken the time to, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well as Facebook. Uh, the Facebook's been, uh, going really well lately. A lot of people have been adding and, uh, which is a cool idea. If, if you're actually a real fan of my videos and stuff and you, you know, and you've been enjoying them, if you follow on Facebook, you, you get a little bit of heads up on some of the stuff I'm doing. Um, just cause it's easy for me to throw a snapshot or a quick little video to, to say what I'm doing. Plus I do the 360, uh, panorama shots, which, uh, I wish I had done out here. I don't, I didn't think of it. If I thought of it at the time, I probably would have, uh, liked to have done that would have been a less less flying around and though like you know time wise but it uh, would have been cool to do that right over the ship or something you know what I mean but uh, those ships aren't going anywhere anytime soon so who knows I could always go back and pull that off no problem but uh, so now we're coming back in and as I'm coming in I'll give you guys a tip and I do this every every flight I make I come in backwards once I get kind of close to myself and you should consider doing it too, and, and I'll tell you why. One time I flew my drone into the side of my truck. I was talking to a guy out behind Home Depot. I'm flying, and normally I do this. I fly backwards, and uh, the one time I didn't, it showed me why I do it, because uh, when you're coming in towards you, your right is left and left is right. Everything's reversed. So when you're trying to make those fine adjustments to uh, to come in for your landing, there's a good chance that you could screw up. Like, you know what I mean? I've been flying these for a couple of years, and I still do it. And I've got to, you know, click that little bit right or whatever to just to, and then be like, oh, yeah, wrong way. But so out of habit, I always turn it away from me. And uh, that way it's like you're driving it, right? Because when I'm coming in behind trees or something like that in between, then, uh, you know what I mean, one wrong move, and that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit something. So, uh, which I did. I still got the scratches on my truck from it. Luckily, there was no damage to the drone, but... All right, guys, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video anyway. That's, uh, that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe.